What is going on everybody? Today I want to do a little review on, uh, I have this attachment which is a uh, fifth wheel uh, to gooseneck ball. So let me know in the comments or whatever if you guys use it, how it works, but I have it. It's for an emergency and uh, pretty much that's the only reason why I bought it for. So my other truck actually broke down and I had to move a trailer. So right now I'm in the process of moving my, uh, I got this uh, nice mini five over here. Uh, so we're going to get this put in place. So this is the fifth wheel. Sorry for the noise. The fifth wheel to gooseneck adapter. So I'm going to my welder because I got to weld these clamps here because this is not this is not legal so you can't have that so I'm gonna put some uh, clamps on both sides so these chains can go in place and maybe another uh, things for the emergency brake unfortunately I am uh, a virgin to fifth wheel so I don't know if this is the proper use of it or if this works if somebody else has they have the same problem only thing I know is that it it this fifth wheel I mean I don't know let me know if anybody else has this this million, this Ferrari of fifth wheels that I spent so much money on, and uh, I don't think it's great. So I think if I had a normal fifth wheel, it'd be better. Anyways, so the problem I'm facing with this is, so when you drive, here you go, it's it's cocked up the way it is, but then when I, when I pull forwards, it's gonna drop down and uh, slam in the other direction. So I think maybe if I had a normal fifth wheel, I wouldn't have this problem. But since this one is the way it is, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this happens to all fifth wheels. Because, I mean, technically, if you had a, a normal fifth wheel, it would just be this. But would it swivel? Does it move? Have that much play? I don't know. But, uh, once again, like I said, this is my first fifth wheel using. So, maybe... Oh, maybe if you use it somewhere else, uh, it would work. Obviously, I mean, you can tell, look, <laughs> I was trying to use this and uh, I dented my thing. Thank goodness, because last time I uh, broke my fuel fuel pump, which cost me two grand to get a fix at the dealer. So, but the problem I face with this is, A, the this, my hitch, this hitch crafter easy floater, since it is taller, because it has the floats, you get a few inches up in the air, which even having this at the bottom pin that it is, it keeps the trailer higher than the way it's supposed to be. So that being said, the back tires, are, I mean the front tires over here, don't touch the ground. So, if it was a normal hitch, I guess you'd be riding more straight, for sure. So that's the problem, I think. So, which means more wear on the back tires and everything else, just, it's just not safe. So, I guess if you're using this, maybe it'd be good on a normal fifth wheel, but with an easy, easy floater here it's, like I said it's too high and it's just I just don't feel safe with it um, I mean you, got, you gotta spend the whole time unscrewing the bolts and then uh, dropping the pin so while I'm doing all that I might as well just just change the to a normal gooseneck um, coupler and that's it just call it a day but that's it I figured I'd show you guys uh also i mean when you're installing this i did it since so that's how this happened i connected the ball then tried to connect it to the fifth wheel but what you have to do is you got to grab it and slam it into the fifth wheel make sure it locks and then reverse back and connect the gooseneck so i hope this helps somebody uh let me know if somebody else uses this if they have the same problem or uh if it's just this uh this ferrari of a this Ferrari of a uh, fifth wheel. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.